Hey, welcome back to the channel. Today, we are going to go over the details of why you might want to bed your rifle, and then we're going to go into a little more detail on how we bed your rifle. Okay, so some of you may not know what bedding is. Maybe you've heard people talk about it and you just have no idea what that means. Bedding your rifle is when you use epoxy or fiberglass or something to fully support this action. You want this action supported in the stock back in here fully along the full length of the action so that everything is solid and locked in so nothing's moving as you're shooting your gun. So what we do here is we do a full length bed, which means we bed the entire length. Sometimes you may see some manufacturers or even some other gunsmiths, they'll do what's called a tang bed, where they just bed the front and the rear portions of the action. Tang bed's fully acceptable. It still supports everything and it works great. Uh, we prefer to do a full bed here just for appearance reasons. And then we also, we just like to have that fully supported. Everything's perfectly molded. It's just the way we like to do it. We feel like that's the best way to do it. So why you may want to bed your rifle. Uh, if you've ever been to the range, you've been shooting and you're noticing inconsistencies in your grouping. Maybe you have, you know, shot one, shot two, shot three, shot four, and it's like your group's moving back and forth. Generally that's indicative of the barreled action of your gun moving inside for every shot. So be like shot one, gun recoils, it moves it. Shot two, recoils, it moves it back that would be a good time to bed your gun. All right, so obviously there is a whole host of things that can cause your gun to be inaccurate. But let's say you've come to us and your gun is doing that scenario where it appears to be printing two different groups. There's a few things we're gonna go through on our checklist of, of checking things out. So we're gonna verify that your action screws are tight. We're gonna go through your optics and your optic mounting setup. We're gonna make sure all that stuff's tight. And we're looking for anything mechanical that's moving. If everything looks good there, we're gonna pull that action out of the stock and we're gonna start inspecting the bottom of the action and the inside of the stock. And <clears throat> generally you might start seeing some rub marks or some sort of an indication that it's been moving in there. And that would be a good time to bed your rifle. Okay, so from here, I'm going to turn it over to Cameron. He normally enjoys his time behind the camera and doing the editing and kind of more behind the scenes stuff. But Cameron does the majority of all the bedding that comes through this shop. And I'm going to let him take it over and show you his process of what he's going to do with this stock right here. Hi, I'm Cameron. So first step we're going to do to get this rifle bedded is we got to prep this stock and the action. Um, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grind out this stock to make sure there's enough room to get bedding compound buildup in there to make sure there's plenty of room and surface area for that to adhere um, so we can get that action settled in there nice and tight. All right, so now we got the stock all ground out. We got all the edges taped up nice and clean so we can get some good clean lines when we put the compound in. We got the action taped up. As you can see here, we taped the front and the sides and the bottom of the lug. A couple reasons for that. We wanna make sure everything ahead of the lug is free float uh, so we can get as much accuracy as is possible. And another is if that lug is too tight in that stock, when you go to screw it in, it could cause some binding issues. So we're just trying to make sure we have a good clean surface for contact with the back of that lug. All right, so now we're gonna mix up some of our DevCon compound. We'll get it laid in the stock and we'll get the action pressed in it nice and we'll get it screwed uh, with the bottom metal in so we can squish it down in there and let it cure. We'll see you when it's done.
So now we got the compound laid in, we got the action bolted down in there to squeeze it nice and tight. We'll let this set up for probably an hour or two and we'll check it. Uh, we don't wanna let it get too hard so that we can get it trimmed out nice and clean. Um, but for now, time to get some lunch. We'll see you when we're done. All right, so after we got that action squished in here, we let it cure up a little bit. And before it cured up all the way, we went through and trimmed it, bolted the action and the barreled action back in it and let it set up the rest of the way overnight. As you can see here, got a nice clean bed pocket in there for that action to sit in. Um, got the lug nice and secured in there, but also not too much to cause any binding issues there. So. Now we're going to get it all assembled, take it to the range and see how it groups. All right, so hopefully you uh, enjoyed that footage of Cameron working. We went out to the range, we reshot this gun, and now I'm gonna show you some targets and explain to you what you might be seeing if you need bedding, and then you can see some changes uh, from non-bedded to bedded. So this is uh, the first target that was shot. <clears throat> uh, this is the first group, we didn't bother numbering it, things are kind of stringing around and being weird. Um, but here on this group, you can see we did number the shot count and you can see there's a first shot's low, second shot, third shot, fourth shot back in there in that round that first shot. And then shot number five kind of jumps back up here. This is indicative of something's moving in the gun. And now we can see here on this target, uh, we have two groups here, first group, second group. Uh, there's actually four rounds in both of these groups. Uh, but you can see uh, everything significantly tightened up and we have, I mean, well, there's at least two in the same hole there, but you can see a nice little triangle of groups starting there. So both targets side by side. So <clears throat> if you're having issues like that with your gun, uh, it might be time to have it inspected. Look things over, maybe come, come visit us. We can help you out. Um, lost my train of thought. All right, so thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you liked it, go ahead and hit the like button. Uh, if you have any comments, put some comments down there, any questions, go ahead and subscribe if you uh, want to see further videos from us. Have a good day.